Hi, today I'm going to do something a little off track. Um, something just arrived for me today that I purchased, and I'd like to do an unboxing video of it. Let me take it out here. So, this just arrived for me today. Um, this is a brand new phone. Um, to start off with, one thing that you guys um, that watch my YouTube videos probably don't know about me is I have a couple hobbies. Um, one, I do um, remote installations and product development for natural gas systems. Um, I'm a project a product development engineer um, for alternative fuel systems and integration. Another thing that I do is... Um, I am a cell phone remanufacturer for um, Microsoft and Apple products, and um, but I'm not approved for the iPhone 6 stuff, so um, I'm a little out of date there, but for the older stuff, I'm still current with that, but um, I take uh, products and um, I buy them from national auctions and I go through um, probably about 50 phones a month where I rebuild phones and then um, turn around and sell them. Um, I recondition them and repair them and um, help people out with deals. I unlock the phones and I really enjoy it. I've done it for a while and um, those are a couple good hobbies that I have. Um, so in the meantime, while you guys watch a lot of my videos, you guys will notice the quality of some of my videos change quite a bit. There um, can be a pretty big difference between my videos. Uh, the reason why is because I get to test um, a lot of different type of phones. Like this is a brand new Pantech phone from Verizon. Um, I got a ZT, Z Max. I mean, I, um, I test a lot of different phones and so a lot of the cameras will will be pretty bad so um, so I have to go through a lot of phones and um, you know sometimes I find some stuff that I really want to make a video about and the only thing I have available is one of my phones that I'm currently testing so uh, a lot of people put up with a lot of my uh, crappy videos <laughs> and this is why because I, I test my phones before I sell them so sometimes you guys get caught in the crossfire uh, but anyway, um, another thing you guys don't know is in my job, my main job, um, I have to have two SIM cards where I work. i got to have T-Mobile and an AT&T. And um, up in Wyoming, the coverage for cell phones is for uh, data and voice is really, really, really bad. And so I have to have, for my own safety, I have to have two SIM cards. I have to have two network providers because they don't always work. And in fact, this is the first year that we've had 4G in Wyoming, in the lower western part of Wyoming. Uh, unless you had Verizon, which I don't have. Um, if you were a GSM carrier, this is our first year that we've had uh, 4G internet service. So, um, so that's a pretty new thing. Uh, but one thing that I need is I need a cell phone that has dual SIM capability. That's my point. And um, there is not one video on YouTube about the Studio M HD. Not one. So I bought this and um, it was only $80. And um, I needed a phone really fast and... You know, I do have a wide variety of phones, but they're not uh, dual SIM. And uh, Blue is a company out of Miami, Florida. And I have, I get a lot of Blue phones that come through, and I really like them. Um, but this one here, I would keep this one, but um, it's only a four gigabyte. Um, it's only four gigabyte. So um, I can't keep that one. So. Uh, this was a pretty good alternative, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with you and show you what it looks like. Alright, so here is the phone itself.
Well, the first thing you have is an alternative SKU sticker. Um, normally these can go inside the battery compartment. When I get these, I'll put these in the battery compartment if the main one was damaged. And I always like the blue products. Um, they always kind of give you everything you need right out of the box. So you get a really nice charger. Uh, this is not a Type-C, this is a just a normal micro USB charger. And you get your headphones. Now they don't look too comfortable. I don't really have a problem with them. I like to sleep with my headphones in. But uh, these aren't a top quality. They don't have the ear forming. I don't know how many people's ears look like that. But now uh, you get them. And your standard wall charger. It's labeled blue. Let's see what the battery is. 2000 milliamp battery. It's replaceable. And you get a hard plastic shell. I was really hoping to get one of their normal uh, um, silicone cases. That's what I really like is their silicone cases. And here's a product guide just showing you everything about the phone. I think anymore anybody uh, if you don't know what your, how to use a cell phone boy you're living in the dark ages. Uh, dual SIM slots and you always get a screen protector and a free packet of silicate. Yeah I, I really do like getting the screen protector right in the box. So I'll throw all that stuff back in. So I'm going to use everything else. Okay, so the phone itself. Pull it out. So this is a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor, 8 megapixel autofocus main camera, 2 megapixel selfie, Android Lollipop 5.1, 4G SVA Plus, up to 64 gigabyte. SD card, 1 gig RAM, and 5.0 HD IPS display. So some of the um, key points that it has was really important. The autofocus main camera, 8 megapixel, and the HD IPS display was, was important, and then the um, quad core. So I'll flip it around here, and this is a smooth glass finish. This is uh, the exact same color as the iPhone 5C. This is the light blue white baby blue from the iPhone 5C. Feels really nice. Chargers down here offset to the side, which I like. Headphone jack. And your camera in single flash. And let's go ahead and figure out how to open this up. Now, one thing that I've always found with blue phones, okay, you'll always get a good blue phone. And um, there's always a downside to every one of their blue phones. And you got to look at all the specs. And one downside is you'll have all of great something, but then you have one thing that you're like, oh, man, I really wish I had this. Um, but this one, as you guys can see, has 16 gigabytes. The one thing about blue phones, you got to check out their the memory on their phones. Um, always got to pay attention to that with their phones. So luckily this one had 16 gigabytes, which was really attractive because I'm just so sick and tired of running out of memory. Uh, it's pretty nice, but it's not durable enough for a mechanic. <laughs> okay, so I'm inside the phone and I'm going to show you... Um, some of the settings here. So the phone capacity is 16 gigabytes. We have uh, 4.3 used, um, 1.02 gigabyte in apps. So we have 10.54 gigabytes free. 
I don't have my SD card inserted yet. I forgot. Okay. And about device. So you guys can see this is Android 5.1. I did a wireless update and it says that it's a generic build. So this is just a basic. Um, doesn't look like they've done much to it as far as skinning or anything like that. Um, what's really cool is you come up and I go through a lot of phones and I go through a lot of dual SIM phones and uh, this is the best menu that I've had so far. So in my AT&T you can come in here and it's already set it up for me. I didn't even have to do it. And then you come in here to T-Mobile T-Mobile and look at that. It has all the list of all of your carriers. This is the biggest pain in the butt when I'm getting a new cell phone is setting up all of the the APN and the APN is for your internet service. So yeah, I need data roaming on. Wyoming is a roaming place. So I will go in here. This is your um, stock UI and you have your two SIM cards, my Wi-Fi uh, you drop that down. Looks like, I have, of course, I've got a bunch of um, updates pending. you got your dual SIM showing down there. Um, now, there is not an app drawer. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know how you normally have your little round icon down here and you press it and it comes with all your apps? Uh, that's not on this phone. You have all of your apps right here on your main screen. So when you go through your menu, you slide it all over and there it is. Now the one cool thing that I do like about this phone is you slide up from the bottom and boom, this is your app drawer. So you have all of your stuff, kind of like your Samsung phone, how you swipe down from the top. Um, you got that right here at the bottom. So you can, I'm pretty sure you can customize this app drawer too. Yeah, it's here, it's in the control center. So, um, the capacitive buttons do not light up. Uh, that would have been really nice if they did. But, um, so this is my new phone. You guys are probably going to see me playing with this and uh, seeing some new videos coming out with using this. Okay, so it's fast. The screen is fast. All right, so that's good. Let me go back in there and look at some of the settings. And choose eight megapixel. Okay, so the eight megapixel is a 4.3 and the six megapixel setting is a 16.9, which is what I'm gonna have to record. So I'm only gonna be able to record in 16 or a six megapixel. All right, I'm finding that's getting pretty common with some of the new phones. So let's see if there's anything else I can help you with. All right, so I'm gonna customize this. I do have Nova Launcher Premium, so I can install that and um, kind of customize this phone a little bit more. But anyway, that's the blue. Studio M HD. This is the first and only video showing this phone. Uh, this phone comes in a multiple uh, variety of colors. There was pink, white, black, blue, and of course I choose chose blue. So uh, thanks for watching.